a red lip. That's tricky. I'm just kidding, it's actually not tricky, it's just intimidating because it is a bold color. This technique, what I'm about to teach you, is good for any strong lip color or any lip color in general. This video is perfect for beginner or if you've never done a red lip before, please stay, watch this. You're gonna wanna try it. I wanna hit that subscribe button if you have not. Go ahead, hit that button. First step to red lips or any lipstick, look at that. Uh, make sure your lips are smooth and exfoliated, okay? If you got crusty, dusty lips, girl, pause the video and go fix that right now. I will still be here. I will wait. Pause the video. Do a little scrub-a-dub-dub, okay? -dub, Once your lips are clean and smooth, go ahead and top your lips with a some kind of lip oil or even just like chapstick. Carmex, chapstick brand chapstick. The black one is my favorite kind. Anything that's going to moisturize and smooth over your lips and you don't want it You want it to kind of sit in you don't want them to be too wet because then your product is gonna slide And you're gonna have a pretty difficult time putting on the rest of your lip color So make sure that it's obviously soaked into your lips. Ooh, I have a tip for you That's gonna make you love me and you are definitely definitely gonna want to subscribe if you are new to this or just still a beginner and you know you need the practice. Go ahead and do your lips before the rest of your makeup. You will thank me. You will be like, praise the good Lord. I listen to Holly Lenora because I'm telling you, you will mess up and then your whole foundation around your lips. I mean, mm, just listen, okay? Lips are smooth, ready for the first step in this uh, red lip application or any lip application. Go ahead and use a lip liner. This is the 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil from Urban Decay in the shade 714. As you can see, it is a bright, bright red. You want a very sharp pencil. You want a very sharp tip. So, obviously mine is not. I'm going to take a sharpener and do the obvious and sharpen up my little pencil here. There's lots of different lip liners that you can use. Just pick your favorite and there you go. Tip looks good, we're ready to go. Start with the outer corners of your lips and work inwards. I'm an overliner with the best of them, but if you want that plump, juicy looking lip, kissable looking lips, follow my lead. Be sure you get the innermost corner of your lips. A lot of people miss that, and when you're speaking, you can, it's very obvious. So be sure to hit those inner corners. Hold your mouth open and you'll hit them. Right there. Now I am gonna hit that light line between my skin. I mean, that is skin, but you see what I'm saying. That's where I'm gonna line my lips. That's where I'm gonna stop. And lining your lips there is what's gonna create that plump, juicy lip injection effect. Perfect connect. And next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill in my lips with this pencil and that is going to be extra insurance that your lip color stays put throughout your night, your date, eating, whatever the case may be. So we're gonna go ahead and fill the lips with the lip liner. Now you can stop here if you want, but as I said, this lip liner all over the lip is going to ensure that the red stays on the lip. So if your liquid lipstick or whatever you use as the topper cracks, breaks, slides off through dinner, you've still got this backup red on your lips. At your own discretion, pick your own red lip product that you want to use. I am a firm firm believer in liquid lip sticks. They are everything to me. They stay put. They just have this beautiful look to them that is just magnificent. And these are my top three, especially when it comes to red lips. You need to ensure that that product is going to stay put. So I wouldn't skimp when it comes to a red lip because if, you, if it's messed up, I mean, 
then you your whole look is messed up I still think you look beautiful but you know other people might be like oh what's wrong with her lips anyway um the Too Faced lip injection love this one plumping effect it does tingle a little bit the NARS power matte lip pigment tried and true I love this one this was in the shade don't stop and then of course the MAC liquid lipsticks in the shade feels so grand I think for today, this one is like super, super, both of these are like red, red, red. This one has a deeper kind of like candy apple red and I kind of want to go in with that one. But those are my top three. So now actually this is the easy part as long as you stay in the lines. You're just going to top your lip. Look at that color. Is that color not stunning? Oh my gosh. Notice I've got inside the innermost corners of the lips i just went ahead and put on a super nice oh by the way this is not uh it is a cream liquid lipstick it does have a shine to it but it will stay put i'm telling you it's gorgeous all three of those that i mentioned stunning and that's it okay so you know the red lip like the how-to of a classic red lip. But since it's Valentine's Day, let's spice it up just a hair. I love doing this for Valentine's Day. I love doing it just because it adds, it's that cut above the rest. Your lips will stand out amongst the other sea of red lips today. Take a baby pink or whatever kind of pink that you will know, that you know will show up against this red. And it needs to be not a sheer color obviously this one is the rare beauty um souffle some souffle something in the shade energize and obviously it is like absolutely super super pink and it's so precious we love it this is literally why i use this color like this is why i have this product watch now you're gonna have to build it up does this not add the cutest most valentiny look to your lip. This is literally the lip for Valentine's. Perfect. I am obsessed with that lip for, it's perfect. Perfect for Valentine. Put, do the rest of your makeup, set your makeup in place, and go have a grand old night. This doesn't have to be just for Valentine's. Please wear a bold lip anytime you want. It definitely does something to a woman, okay? I am feeling fierce and ready to go. Thank you so, so much for watching and hanging out with me. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.